Hello, hello guys, welcome back. I hope you had some nice time over Christmas and over the few first uh, days of the new year. So we are coming back with uh, another video for Oxygen Not Included, which uh, as I've uh, explained multiple times is uh, one of my new really nice games uh, that I really enjoy playing. And uh, before going on with this uh, video, which is going to be rather short uh, and to the point hopefully, I, I want to thank you for uh, my first 200 uh, subscribers. Uh, thanks a lot. I, I think it's actually like 202 at the moment. So um, yeah, definitely that gives me uh, a lot of uh, cards and <laughs> uh, it actually makes it uh, uh, more promising for me to create more videos and um, hopefully help you with your games and entertain you at the same time. So yeah, thanks again for subscribing. And uh, please, for those of you that haven't subscribed, please do so. There's going to be a lot of new and videos and uh, hopefully I'm looking to make this a better experience for you with every new video. And uh, yeah, thanks again and uh, yeah, remember to subscribe if you haven't and uh, thanks for watching this. So in the, this uh, video tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit about um, water, which is um, a very important, if not the most important resource in uh, uh, oxygen not included after oxygen obviously and um, it is very important that you have a sustainable uh, res um, water resource and um, a sustainable water pocket I would say uh, that um, actually uh, recreates itself after you consume it so you want, uh, you want to, f to build your water supply in an area where a steam geyser exists and uh, a steam geyser pretty much provides you with unlimited water so every once in a while it actually produces uh, more water and um, you can generally use a pitcher pump uh, you know to throw more uh, clear clear water uh, in here and um, always make sure that um, uh, if you go on actually sorry actually that's my bad I was talking about the bottler <laughs> I wanted to mention that you can use a bottler to throw um, uh, water here uh, if you want and make sure that you select uh, clean water instead of uh, polluted like the one I'm having here right so if you have a bottle emptier just uh, use um, w clean clear water clean water uh, over here if you actually want to pump to dump for clear water here uh, but make sure that you are you're actually um, dumping water that doesn't have any um, any poison, any uh, you know, yeah, any pretty much any war, any uh, bugs in it. Um, so you can find the any germs. So you can see whether your other sources of water include uh, and have germs, like this polluted water here. And this is this started being water, but uh, once it goes through uh, the water sieve, it actually still retains some of the germs. So make sure that um, you know you don't really use this kind of water because you can get uh, food poisoning to your um, duplicants. So instead, just find a pocket that's completely clear, as you see here. Uh, just to make sure that it's actually c rather far from uh, you know your other colonies' uh, stuff, so that you don't pollute it. Uh, you really don't want anything in, in this uh, <clears throat> in this location. My my voice is breaking. <laughs> Damn. So uh, the the important thing over here, and that uh, something that you have to take notice about is that uh, water that comes from the steam geysers is actually very very uh, hot and it could even be hotter than what you see here so it's actually 63.4 celsius that's uh, super hot and if you try to consume it directly uh, your duplicants will have issues with the heat and um, it, it can actually um, draw a lot of heat um, actually cause a lot of heat around your base your colony and you really really don't want to have that happening so what I ended up doing here uh, if, you, if, we take, if we take a look at the plumbing overlay so I'm actually pumping water here and as you see I have a long 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 uh, pipe here liquid pipe where uh, you see that the contents of the pipe uh, so that uh, the, the, the current water temperature is 48 and um, as I move this obviously it gets uh, colder and colder and colder but eventually it passes through the cold biome so this is the cold biome here so um, if we go back you will see that once it reaches the cold biome it starts very quickly it starts to get uh, colder way way quicker so on a 38 37 you see how much quicker it becomes uh, colder and so it actually reaches a temperature where it's uh, you know safe to consume and use and uh, once it goes it goes back it's like 33 here and um, it's 31 here 
and uh, yeah, pretty much 31. And uh, yeah, it it will raise itself a little bit, but it's still uh, way way better than having it uh, at around 60, right? Uh, I mean, that's uh, that's insane. So you you really want to make sure that you actually um, kind of like uh, make your water colder, not uh, not freeze it completely, but make it colder. And uh, one way of doing so is actually by passing it through the, your cold biome. And um, that's pretty much what I use for. And actually, I have to strip. Uh, a little bit here. You see that the, the water being, uh, you know, being present here just because uh, the cold biome is uh, near, and um, you know um, things are getting melted, and you kind of have to strip them. So um, yeah, that's a little bit of a weird thing happening at times. You have to you have to mop it, not strip it. Sorry. So um, yeah, uh, it's it's not really not a big deal, but just uh, just wanted to show it. So yeah, this is what uh, we sh you should be doing with water. Make sure that you have uh, sustainable water resources and water sources uh, just by finding a place where it has a steam geyser. And uh, yeah, just pumping water from that place and taking you through a cold biome to make sure that it's in the de proper temperature for, for use that's uh, around your base. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if we're talking about uh, water, you will be able to have sustainable water resources. And uh, again, if you're using um, polluted water and taking it through um, water seeds, it will produce water that includes uh, germs, as you see here. And you really, really don't want to mix this kind of water with your other water, with your really clean water, um, because it will pretty much, um, you know, cause a lot of food poisoning in uh, on your um, people. And I do have, or your duplicates, I do have Ellie here who is um, super. I'm stressed. I'm wondering why she's not really using the um, uh, the massage pad. Sometimes, yeah, it happens just because they don't have the proper jobs, and this is something that you have to do, take a look at. Sometimes you are actually focusing your um, your duplicates in a specific type of work, and uh, they don't really use the massage uh, table in order to relax themselves, and you end you end up having them. You know, uh, lashing out just because they have, uh, or cry, or something like that, just because they don't have, um, they ha they are super super stressed. So yeah, that's that's a side tip. Make sure that your duplicates are actually using uh, some jobs and uh, they are not excluded of um, of massaging themselves. So um, and the massage is here actually. So yeah, you should you should make sure that all your duplicates are allowed to massage themselves. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching this, and again, thanks a lot for the first 200 subscribers. Hopefully, we're gonna reach a thousand soon. That would be awesome, and uh, maybe have a special of some sort. We'll see. But yeah, thanks again, guys, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching this, and I'll see you soon with uh, uh, more tutorials and um, yeah, hopefully more fun videos for you to watch. And uh, yeah, let me know how you're doing with uh, oxygen not included. Uh, leave some comments and uh, let me know what are your your biggest uh, you know your biggest issues with the game. And if you have any troubles with specific things that I could help with, I would be glad to make more videos. I really enjoy the game. So yeah, let me know what you're struggling with. And um, since I have quite some experience now, I can definitely help you. Um, I think quite quite significantly with your game. So yeah, thanks again and uh, see you soon. Bye.